Carbon capture is an illusion. Do you know who said that? Not Greenpeace, not even in environmental organizations. Those words came from the International Energy Agency. So are they right? Is carbon capture a solution or not? Let's talk about it. My name is Isaiah Hernandez and this is Queer Brown Vegan, my platform is to bring you environmental education that's focusing on intersectional issues rather than ignoring them. If you like what you see here, be sure to like, comment and subscribe because it helps me grow my channel and bring you more educational content. In order to limit climate change to 1.5 degrees, the fossil fuel industry would need to invest 50% of their capital in clean energy projects by 2030. This is not happening right now, nor do I think it will, so it doesn't look like warming will be limited. In 2022, only about 2.5% of the fossil fuel industry spending went to clean energy. Let's get straight to the point. The IAA doesn't play. They aren't partisan. Their sole purpose is securing stable energy sources for humanity. They offer analysis, data, and policy recommendations for energy security, and security is why they're now focusing on renewables. And in 1974, when they first started, they were primarily responsible for securing oil supplies and solving disruptions. So the IAA being involved in talking about renewable energy sources is a very big deal. Now things are changing and very fast. One of the major pitfalls in our transition to renewables and clean economy is the excessive reliance on carbon capture and we're going to get into why that's a misleading solution and which is why I hate when people say I do carbon capture and I'm like Carbon capture is a very small piece of achieving net zero emissions in specific sectors, but it's not being used and can't be used as a way to retain the status quo. That's what the IA's take is on. Carbon capture actually does make sense for perhaps small impacts along supply chains, but they don't represent a solution for the energy insecurity facing our world today. Carbon capture and the storage technology isn't going to be a silver bullet, one size fits all answer to that gets us out of this mess, but the IA says it's inconceivable to successfully reverse global warming through carbon capture, around 32 billion tons of carbon would have to be captured by 2050, and this would require about 26,000 terawatt hours of electricity to operate in 2050, which is more than the total global demand for energy. So that's like saying, yes, this will hypothetically work if we don't use energy for anything else, or if we have another planet's worth of energy, neither of those are remotely possible. From the IA's website itself, carbon capture utilization and storage deployment has been behind expectations in the past but momentum has grown substantially in recent years with over 500 projects in various stages of development across the CCUS value chain. And it also says that nevertheless, even at such level, CCUS deployment would remain well below what is required in net zero scenario. The other unfortunate part of this being touted as a solution is that it's often being put on taxpayers to pay the cost. Carbon capture may be needed as a small-scale solution for some sectors, certainly, but the investments for community-owned power and walkable infrastructure both represent two other somewhat costly solutions that provide far more pollution for economic justice and ending pollution. When we're talking about taxes for infrastructure projects, carbon capture realistically shouldn't take priority. The overarching need is to reduce emissions substantially by 2050 or sooner, not keep emitting, but capture some of those. Renewable energy sources are cheaper, more reliable, and more abundant than fossil fuels, and we've headed towards. The shocking thing to me is that there isn't a huge push already for this, but when you consider the trillions of dollars in profit that oil companies are still making, you start to understand why they're keeping things the ways that they are and pushing for false solutions like carbon capture. Carbon capture might make a sense when they aren't alternatives like for the materials, but aren't energy sources like absolutely absolutely have other options. Exxon Mobil CEO, a monster named Darren Woods, encountered all of this by saying, well, no solutions out there today is at the scale to solve the problem, and that's just sneaky. We know the solutions that are in the industry to fight back in every step to, wait to make sure that we stop the fossil fuel industry. It's just the confluence of power that they hold and wealth that they have to decide those policies. We know what the solutions are, and the industry has fought back every step of scale. And that doesn't make carbon capture valid. It's a reminder that we're still at this mess because they've been stacking up profits. Did you learn something new today? If so, consider leaving a like and comment below on your thoughts on carbon capture and subscribe to my channel. I can keep bringing you content like this and I'd love to learn your thoughts more about carbon capture technologies. Do you think it's going in the right direction or do you think it's just accelerating at a very slow growth? Thanks so much again for watching.